up everyone. It is like 7.30 a.m. and I <coughs> got like an hour and 45 minutes of sleep on the mega bus as per usual. And I paid too much for a tube ticket because I got the one that was for zones one through four and I only need one through two, but I don't think you can get a refund so, or like exchanges, so I didn't even ask. Then I asked for a city map and they're like, oh, you can buy it from the bookstore. And I was like, I'm not buying a city map. So I'm just gonna ask people where stuff is. So far so good because I got off the tube after there was severe delay. It's been a great morning. And the people were really nice and they helped me. I'm looking for Will's apartment from about a boy. So hopefully I can find it. So I'm pretty sure I just found the chapel that Will goes to to meet the other single mothers at SPAT. It's called Woodbridge Chapel. According to the website where I found this address of Will's apartment, it said that they added the side entrance just for the movie. So it's not here in real life and like, it looks very different from what it looks in the movie. But, oh, you can see inside. I think it's, I don't think it's a residential building. I don't know. But it looks very different from the movie. Here it is. The surrounding area does not look like what, I don't know, what it seems like in the movie. I'm going to show you that too. Does not look like high-tech Will would live next to this, but he does. Oh, also he lives across from the St. James Clerkenwell Garden. There's like people walking their dogs and stuff. And I have a good idea, I'm gonna do that like walk thing that Marcus does and he like gets closer and closer and there's like the funny music, I'm gonna do that right now. Another interesting thing that I just, I just realized because I took the long way a second ago when I first found the two places, um, the chapel is like literally right around the corner from Will's apartment. In the movie, I don't know, it always seems like he like walked to get there, maybe took the tube, but I'm gonna actually show you how close they are. Here's the Woodbridge Chapel, single parents alone together. And here's Will's apartment. They're literally like right around the corner from each other, and I'm getting weird looks from people, so I'm gonna put the camera away now. OMG, this puppy is so cute. because there's a Paddington Bear stand and it's just so cute so I'm gonna buy a Paddington Bear souvenir. I bought four Paddington Bear bookmarks because I couldn't decide because they were all really cute and there's four different ones and the guy was so nice he was like cheers and he like tipped his funny little like hat and like I love English people they're so nice I love love English people. So right now I'm on Portobello Road in Notting Hill and I just saw the movie yesterday. I just watched it because I was coming to London and I wanted to find the locations. So this is, in the movie it was the travel bookshop, but in real life it's a shoe store now, but it's called Notting Hill. And I walked in, so I was in the same room as Julie Roberts and Hugh Grant, which is cool. Here's the Saints Tattoo Studio, which is also in Notting Hill. The guy walks out and he has a tattoo that says, I love Ben, and he doesn't know how he got it. But it's closed now, so they're probably going to take down the sign and stuff soon. So good thing I came today, because the sign is still up that was in the movie. And this is the actual travel bookshop that the one in the movie was based on. It's like around the corner. Grant's apartment is in Notting Hill, but in Notting Hill it's the little blue door, but now it's a little black door. My hunt has been briefly interrupted by a sudden intense rainstorm. Typical for London. So I'm really, really excited about this find on my hunt for my favorite London movie locations. It's the house that Juliet and her husband live in, in Love Actually, and then Mark comes and like the carol singers thing happens and it's like the most romantic thing I've ever seen in my life, I think, so like I love it and it's so good. And I found the house and it's really cute in person too, it's pink. There's like a little bike out front, it's like very perfect and cute. 
And in case you don't recognize it, I'm gonna do it from the angle that it's shown in the movie also. And then you can imagine like Mark walking down in Juliet and she kisses him and it's so cute. She a little white girl.